Hello, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a really simple uh, wall material here in Substance Designer. It's going to be like a brick material mixed with, um, with some concrete and also a little bit of grass at the bottom. So I'm going to use the brick material, I mean the brick node. It's no need to complicate how to make bricks when you can just use the brick node. And I'm going to keep this relatively simple, simple so I don't have to you know, get too complex on how to create the actual bricks. And so obviously I used a flood fill to get the variation on the bricks. And so I got the bricks from that. And obviously I'm going to connect my nodes to the ambient occlusion and the normal map. Now what I want to do is I want to create a kind of like a side concrete at the top and at the bottom and I'm going to use a tile sampler and mask it with a gradient that I'm uh, selecting through a histogram scan. I just thought it was a really good way to mask some of those bars. And then I'm going to bevel that and I'm going to also mix these two together. So the bricks with the with the trim at the top and at the bottom as well. And then I'm going to create some grass blades using the waveform node. Uh, that's usually the way, way to go if you're creating things like grass. I'm also going to uh, blur it. And using this blur, uh, it makes it so that it's a little bit beveled. Uh, you could use the bevel node, but I kind of like this because it kind of softens it up a little bit as well. And then I'm going to use the tile sampler to get a lot of those. Obviously it's good to change uh, the scale and the position of it as well as the uh, just a, a little bit of rotation variation on it. Then I'm going to use the same mask uh, that I was using for the trim so that the, um, the grass only shows up where the trim is. And then I'm going to blend those two together. The thing I do want to do is reduce the height for the trim itself so that we can see the, the grass coming through a little bit better. And the trim, uh, the height, the histogram scan actually controls how much of the grass uh, shows up. So it's a really simple graph. And I'm also going to get a color map uh, using a curvature smooth uh, with a gradient to pick some colors here. So first for the brick, and then I'm going to get the the trim color, which is going to be mostly a gray gray color for that. And I'm going to use the mask that comes out of the height blend. Use that to mask uh, the different colors. And then I'm going to do pretty much the same thing with the grass. It's going to make that green. And I'm going to use the uh, mask that comes from the height from that as well. So I'm setting that to a green color. So it's relatively stylized. I'm going for a stylized look here. Also going to enable my height map and scale of this just to see what it looks like with some height on it. And one thing I do want to do is I'm going to add just a little bit more uh, color variation to the, um, to the bricks so that some of the bricks are a little bit darker than the others.
just so that it doesn't look too uniform. And I'm going to also going to add more uh, surface variation to the bricks as well. By blending one of the plot fill uh, nodes here. I also want to add just a little bit more edge wear to the um, color map as well for the bricks specifically. Just to add an extra layer of detail to it. Just to keep it more stylized as well. And then one other thing I want to do is I want to use a slope blur to, uh, to pretty much add more noise to the color map. But this is a good way to kind of like add color variation and just noise overall to your color map. If you don't want it to be a, a uniform color, you can always do that. Just add like a slope blur and blend those two together. Just a nice way to add more, more noise to the color map. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the trim as well, just a tiny bit. And then I'm also going to increase the, uh, the brightness of the texture as well as the contrast, just a tiny bit. And then the final thing to do is to get a roughness map for this. I was going to use the color map to get, it, to get the roughness map, but I decided to just use the curvature instead. And I'm just going to invert some of those colors. I mean the grayscale values. And using the slow blur on the roughness map is also good for adding um, just variation to that as well. And I'm going to keep them relatively shiny. Uh, like I said, this is stylized. Um, usually when things look a little bit shiny, they, they look fine uh, when you're working with stylized models or textures. And the final thing is to get the grass, obviously. And I'm going to make the grass just a little bit less uh, shiny, have less roughness on it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this material. So here is um, what it looks like in Marmoset Toolbag. Okay, so this is pretty much it. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in the reel, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment.
The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine. So you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to explain everything. So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.